Alrighty, so um, I've had the most fun I've had on this channel making the thumbnails slash pictures for this video because I'm literally dying of laughter. I cannot believe this is even a rumor. Um, half of me is like, I could see this working. And the other half of me is like, this is not going to happen whatsoever. Nothing about this makes sense. Cedar Fair doesn't do partnerships with roller coasters um, and theming. And uh, Cedar Fair just, <laughs> I don't know, Monster Jam, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to start off the video, um, introduce myself. So I'm Brendan. I'm a Canadian. And I don't necessarily fully understand Monster Jam. So maybe that's part of my bias in making this video. So just understand that I don't understand Monster Jam, obviously. Um, if any of you meet me in person, you'll totally understand I'm not the Monster Jam kind of person either, outside of being Canadian. But I also did some research on Monster Jam and realized it's a lot bigger than I thought. So they definitely tour the world with their Monster Jam um, event. So um, I guess uh, I'll get out of that and get right on to topic. This is about Cedar Fair partnering with A, a company, and B, Monster Jam. Um, yeah, um, personally, I just don't see it happening. Um, I do believe that Cedar Fair is going to have to work with um, companies the way Six Legs does. It just helps alleviate costs with attractions. And it's eventually going to happen. Anyone in business understands, yes, aesthetics-wise, Cedar Fair definitely does it slightly better than Six Flags. Um, but Six Flags does it better with writing off the budget, the P&L, profit and loss statement. So Cedar Point, or Cedar Fair, sorry, is going to have to get on board. Again, I had so much fun making these. So... I'm going to analyze this as if it's true. Let's assume Monster Jam is coming to Cedar Fair. It's coming to a park near you in 2020. Let's go over the possibilities. So here's one. This is Cedar Point's new GCI for 2020 called Monster Jam. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it's it's actually just Mystic Timbers and I completely edited the photo. Um, but um, this one doesn't actually seem that abnormal to me when I made this I was making it as a complete joke and I was laughing while making it and then I saw the like image at the end and I was just like hmm a monster truck themed lead car on a GCI actually wouldn't look so bad called monster jam now the only thing is again I don't believe in this rumor again the reason I don't believe in the rumor is you have this whole cedar fair lore so cedar point is one of those parks that has been teasing the cedar fair lore and you see the new lore kind of expanding its way into the Canadian market with uh, the Mining Co. Um, from Maverick. And you have the Mystic Timbers kind of storyline. You have the Carowinds storyline with Blue Ridge Junction. So it just doesn't make sense to me that they're going to go from these beautiful themed areas and storylines to suddenly like Monster Jam coming to a theme park near you. Like, I just don't see it. Call me crazy, call me whatever. Let's keep assuming this is going to happen, even though I promise you, I do not think this is going to happen whatsoever. Please don't sit here thinking Amusement Insiders is saying Monster Jam is coming to a park near you because I'm really not. I just don't see it. It looks crazy. I mean, even look at it. You go from a beautiful lead car theme to like a Apple's Orchard to like monster jam bursting through your screen monster trucks like jumping over the track explosions going on um left right and center like it's absolutely insane so cedar point is definitely one of those parks that maybe you know maybe if they were absolutely crazy and they didn't want to hop on board that lore and build another beautiful coaster with that cedar fair lore going on in the story like blue ridge junction uh mining co and all of that who knows maybe it's going to go back over in the kind of unthemed area of the park, but who knows? So um, for those of you that seen the picture change, you're probably a little triggered. Um, the King's Island Giga. Um, so <laughs> this one's definitely even more crazy. Um, maybe it's not more crazy, who knows? So <laughs> the King's Island Giga for 2020, 2021, 2022, whatever bandwagon you've hopped onto for uh, the King's Island Giga, Monster Jam. All right.
Can you guys picture a Monster Jam themed Giga Coaster coming to Kings Island? I most certainly can. -ta? I have no idea. Um, this one looks a little more abnormal to me than a wooden coaster themed to Monster Jam, but who knows? Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. This rumor has come out of thin air. The rumor doesn't really have any basis whatsoever either. So again, please understand, take this with the biggest grain of salt you could find. If you're Canadian, go to like those salt factories getting ready for the winter. Pick that big grain of salt up and take that with this rumor. I have no idea what's going on. The rumors just come out of nowhere. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be quite the topic of discussion because again, as a business person, Cedar Fair is going to have to start working with some partnerships or doing more sponsorships in the park. Um, maybe with Coca-Cola, Takis at some parker, parks, sorry. Who knows what's going to go on? We know that. As a business, Cedar Fair is going to have to do that. It helps with the bottom line. Again, the profit and loss statement. They need to start writing off investments and attractions. And this is going to be their best route. We see it with Six Flags. It's boosting their bottom line. And every business in every park is just smarter for them to do it. You see Steel Curtain. They get to build this awesome coaster that typically maybe they wouldn't be able to afford because they got a partnership. It just makes sense. And again, as a Canadian, I have no idea what's going on with this Monster Jam partnership. It doesn't make sense to me if it's going to happen. I just don't get it. But I live in a country where Monster Jam isn't the most popular thing. Um, sporting is probably the most popular thing or igloos or moose hunting or, you know, beaver tails. I'm kidding, by the way, I'm playing on stereotypes. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? I just don't get the Monster Jam thing. And I understand that maybe that's because of my bias. Who knows? I have a feeling Monster Jam is pretty popular in the States still uh, with, again, the explosions. And uh, I honestly have no idea what's going to go on. So this is one of those things of which park is most likely to get a Monster Jam themed attraction. Is it going to be Michigan's Adventure? Is Michigan's Adventure finally going to get a roller coaster? And is it going to be themed to Monster Jam? Honestly, if I had to pick one park that is at the top of the list for a Monster Jam themed roller coaster, it is probably going to be Michigan's Adventure. I don't know. Again, I know nothing about the states as a whole. I don't know which state prefers Monster Jam, which state doesn't. But I'm going to assume, and it's probably going to bite me in the butt, but I assume that Michigan's Adventure or Michigan is probably one of those states that likes monster truck rallies. I know when I've been through there, I've seen monster truck rallies going on. I know they have a lot of derbies and stuff like that. Um, so Michigan's adventure would probably be on the top of my list, but is Michigan's adventure really getting a roller coaster in 2020? I honestly don't think so. So next best, in my opinion, would be a Cedar Point GCI. It just makes more sense to me that a GCI is the better bet in terms of a monster jam themed roller coaster with explosions and fire and trucks and the Monster Jam display out front at Cedar Point. You know, they have Top Fill Dragster with the Dragster train. They got the John Deere partnership. I just see it fitting better at Cedar Point as a whole. And Cedar Point, we know, is getting a roller coaster in 2020. And it's apparently going to be um, a huge step up. It's going to be an improvement upon Steel Vengeance. And uh, in order to afford that, maybe they had to go with a partnership. And Monster Jam and Cedar Fair, bam. Introducing 2020 Cedar Point's Monster Jam themed GCI roller coaster or whatever it ends up being. But apparently a lot of people want it to be the GCI at Cedar Point. And then you have Kings Island. Kings Island would be my third option for a Monster Jam themed roller coaster. Uh, I don't see it being likely considering Kings Island is rumored to be getting a steel coaster. And I just don't see a monster truck or themed to a steel coaster, even though they are made out of steel. Who knows? Whatever it is, I mean, maybe it'll end up being Worlds of Fun. I'm kidding. It's not going to be Worlds of Fun. But <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think of this whole Monster Jam and Cedar Fair rumor? Do you think it's complete garbage like I do? Or do you think there might be some truth to it? If so, if you think there's some truth to it, comment down below which park you think you could be seeing the Monster Jam partnership with Cedar Fair at and when. 
Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this weird video today. Um, it was very last minute with this rumor and I really had to make it because I had a lot of fun making these pictures. Smash that like button if you liked it, share this video for others to enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one guys, enjoy your weekend, bye.